I've been asking every patient, most of the patient comes every three years or so. So I observe every year carefully and I tell them your colon becoming very firm and tight and developing more pockets. So you have to change your diet, you know, to my uh, diet. Then they improve year by year. That's uh, at least like two years, three years later, their colon becomes soft and pliable. Even you have a lot of pockets, diverticulosis, which can create thickening of the intestinal, you know, the muscular layers. Okay? So this diet and the water can change your body situation. Oxidized water is a very, uh, I mean, unhealthy to me. So I don't drink that kind of water, but I drink alkalinized water. New York water, they say, the best water, but it still contains uh, the uh, chlorine. Why did they put the chlorine in? Because that the chlorine put into the water, that it creates that the uh, free radicals, and that that free radicals can kill the uh, bacteria. You know? So that the actually that the uh, chlorine in water is there is no uh, bacteria besides. So it's a healthy water they call. But for a health point of view, taking uh, this uh, chlorine containing water is actually oxidized water. You think the skin is only young? No, artery is young too. So I, made, I did the uh, CT scan, my coronary artery, and my coronary artery didn't show any narrowing uh, stricture. Most of people who are eating a lot of beef, meat, and a lot of oxidized water, they tend to de develop more narrowing strictures you know, and uh, many people, even in the 50s, they had the bypass procedure, the stent in, all kinds of problems in the artery. Uh, definitely, uh, the uh, drinking alkaline, alkalized water and ionized water is uh, more beneficial for us, you know, for our, our health. This is a very important. You just change your diet very little bit. Enjoy your the, uh, health and enjoy your longevity, too. I think the number one most important thing is uh, water. To drink uh, water, alkalized and ionized water, which is uh, Kangen water.